Hello my amazing fans and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm your host Metal Tech, aka Martin Tak. And in today's episode we're going to see what Sadie has to offer for us. But before we do that we're going to see this stranger, the mercies of knowledge. Alright, well let's have a look. I'm pleased to say that uh, both my folks and I are uh, completely healed from uh, Corona. When maybe... Uh, on some places we're still coughing a little bit, but not nothing too serious, so... <clears throat> and, well, that's actually it. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. Alright. What? <laughs> Listen, a bit of a weird question, but... Do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine? Ooh. Strong liquor? It's been a while. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. Check him out. Oh, okay. 100 gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. Ah, he's a tinkerer. All right. Love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. Oh, hey. Just, just, just bring it here. For the cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine. All right. It'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Talk to Alden at Rhodes Station. All right, then we'll just do that before we go. Sadie Adler, so I'll be back as soon as I get to that professor. Be back in a moment. Alright, we're back in Rhodes. And uh, first we have to get rid of a bounty on my head. Uh, seems we have a bounty of five or something. So. Oh, that's it. Alright. How do you do, sir? <coughs> Hello, mister. Dropped in. I've got that uh, information you asked for. Receive mail. Letter from Charles Chatonet. Ah! I assume this isn't just a social call. Mon cher ami, I made it. I have the sun on my face, sand between my toes, and a beautiful vahine in my bed. The island islands are everything I thought they would be, and more you well, would not believe than light. <laughs> I really think you well, take a look at looks this. like he made it. Sorry, not gonna read everything, but uh, ask about the moonshine. Now, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I know no. I picked the right feather to speak to. Notes. Blue Water Marsh coach tip. All right. Read. Bridge and Blue Water Marsh, north of Saint Denis. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive careful with, with it. X. Coach robbery tip. Bridge in Blue Water Marsh, north of Saint Denis. All right. So now we have to go all the way to that area again. Uh, okay. Here's another stranger. Let's have a look. But then we need to go to this one, Professor. And then we have this one, Henry Lemieux. Mm. Alright, but let's first go towards this stranger. Uh, oh wait, wrong room. Uh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, 
You brought hell down on yourself. I'm taking a lot into killing you, boy. Well, that was pathetic. Left. All right. Well, there should be something here. Oh boy! Now what? Ties that bind those. <laughs> oh God! Who's up to? Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault, the darky white. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come on. And I'm right. tall, you, you lily livered. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town, and we can't go into town to get supplies. <laughs> Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and first sure. darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. No. Do your goddamn favor. What you want? Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again? <laughs> shut up. You shut up. Take down the posters uh, around the roads. Stop bounty and searching for Mr. Black and Mr. White. Why did they have to be called Mr. Black and Mr. White? Poster behind you. Will you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. <sighs> all right. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? No damn manners. <coughs> <coughs> You're as good as bear. All right, that's one. Oh uh, boy, we need to go and look for two of them. Uh, all right. Um. They ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad. They worse than worse. You always love one for gossip. Jethro Mingle thought gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. <coughs> lies. Every fool knows the charge of Put away. But the darky killed a white man. All right. Got two of them. Uh, oh. Here is number three. Uh, nothing on the other side. I might as well just turn them in when I get the chance. <laughs> um. Alright, we've got three down here. Maybe something more this way. Ah, yeah, 
we go, number four. And one more. Alright, let's have a look around. Um, Nope. I got me own horse. <laughs> Your damn scalawag. That's all there is to it, scalawag. Is that right? Because I'm working for my family. They having a private conversation. Go boil yourself. So I can you to to We're to be respected, damn you. Uh, Not for this. God damn it. Unbelievable. All right. That's it. <laughs> Motherfucker! Ugh. The Moin Raiders, scum. Where's my hat? Uh, no. There we go. Pick up hat. Let's go, boy. Uh, let's look around. Return uh, with the wanted posters. Uh, okay. Thought we needed to get five, but hmm. All right, um, they were down here, right? Oh wait, there they are. C C G. Yep. All right, don't don't need to mark that. Um, then I can immediately go to this area. Thought it was something else somewhere, but uh, all right. Hey, hey. hey, friend. Hello. I was in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed yeah. Farmer? Well, firstly, I would have. But he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ah, uh, I'm just gonna burn them. No business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's <laughs> that, man. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, All right. Up to the next area. Uh, let's see. Map. If I'm not mistaken, it should still be there. All right. Let's hurry this up, and then I'll s see you around in a moment. Till later! Alright, I think we have come to the location. Yep. Alright. Ah, there we go. Who we got here? Oh, shice. 
many of them. Alright. Let's go. Well, that was incredibly easy. Sorry, buddy. Wrong place, wrong time. I'll be back as soon as I've redilived the moonshine, or unless something happens. Be back in a moment. Alright, and here we go. So, I got your moonshine. Hey, partner. Come on, uh, do I need to get him again? Uh. Oh. You're a uh. wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money. <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deal. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> <laughs> creep is excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? So oh, chair God. Electricity. Quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration. A public one. Huh. Oh, uh, God. Do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? <sighs> Speak to the police chief and Saint Denis jail. All right. Professor Andrew Bell. <laughs> All right. All right. The Claggett Road Station might know where to find the ship in the moonshine. Again? Come on, Dorgar. Ah. <sighs> Do 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 do. Hey, eyes ahead, friend. So hello again. <laughs>
I've done that one before with the let the woman voice of uh, let women make a vote thing. All right. Can I help you with something? Gee, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair, and he uh, wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees. Uh, negotiate. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run, and uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen, but I'll give you a permit for fifty. All right, fifty it is. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatch. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Good morning. It's raining? Ah, goddammit. Alright, return to Professor Bell. Ugh. Professor Bell. <laughs> Professor Micah Bell. <laughs> what, what? Oh shit! Oh fuck eh! Sounds so good either. Come on, it's not far. Oh. Oh, shite. <laughs> Give me a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> oh, oh. I'll be Blood. Fine. No, you're not. Oh, fuck, what the hell? I mean, he has been coughing hey, a few times, there, but... But nothing this serious. Holy shit. A fork in the road, ah. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. <coughs> Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. 
I'm sorry. I was joking. <laughs> Your friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let that do uh, Sure. Thank you. Now, he what's wrong? Looks I mean, pale. Here to oh, shit. Symptoms. Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. I guess. Ah. You got tuberculosis. Wait, what? I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. You mean you're real sick. You it's a progressive disease. You'll be now the best thing is rest. Getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, but oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Oh, fuck! Tuberculosis. You are sick. While sick, you will only gain the benefit from consuming a limited amount of food and drink. Ah, oh, shite. Well, I promised I would go to the PR. And if I'm not mistaken, now... Ah, there we go. Stranger. Leopold Strauss. Beaver Hollow. course of true love. Oh, again? Huh. Alright, well, first we're going to do something with the professor. You are sick. Great. 
Well now. Hey there. What's wrong with you? Hey folks. Hey there, mister. Hello, sir. Oh. Scoozy. Go on and move. Calm down, will you? All right. Ah. <sighs> All right, seems we have to maintain our food problem. All right. Well, I don't think we're going to see Sadie in today's episode, but that won't be a problem, I think. Right? So, the chief says you can test out your machine, uh, pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. And this fella here, he seems sturdy enough and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Ugh. Find him for me, and help me put him out of his misery. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> help me put him out of his misery. Alright. Yep. Capture McDaniels, alive. Uh, let's see, map. Where to? This one? Alright. Um... After we've done that one, I think I'm going to see that stranger, the, the stranger woman. Because there should, it should be a widow. At least that's what I've been told. I think I'm, as soon as I'm uh, near some kind of shop, I think I'm going to buy some food as well. But I'm not going to be near any shop it seems. Oh wait, Emerald Station, maybe something there I can buy. I don't know for sure, but maybe. Alright, well, I'll be back as soon as I'm uh, at my, uh, well, sort of bounty I guess. Oh wait, now, now what? those Lemoyne Raiders bastards all right well I'll be back as soon as uh, I'm I've uh, found my target see you soon all right now we're nearly there it seems that we've got some company all right well let's handle this quickly Come <laughs> on. 
the hat is mine. Money. <laughs> Come on. Well, I got a special treat for you. You're your own jailkeeper, mister. In a prison of your own making. Yeah, sure. Professor's got a plan for you. Ah, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> that was cruel. <laughs> well, I'll be back as soon as I've dropped them off to the police and then I'm gonna end the video because then we've run out of time and then it's always 
also uh, up to the next video and that's uh, me going to that widow and going to Leopold Strauss and uh, etc. <laughs> but uh, I'll see you in a moment. Here we are. Well, here we are. The professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Here, I got him. You're wonderful. Me. Just, just come on. Wonderful. Don't be shy now. Let's go. <laughs> Put him down just there. Now where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Uh, oh, ah. one stay by my humane electric ending facilitator. Now there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. All right. Okay, boy. All right, so we've dropped them off. Well, uh, let's see. What kind of question marks do we have? Stranger of men and angels, brother Dawkins, or sister Carolyn? Oh, it's been a while. Henry Lemieux, idealism and pacifism. Then we have these two and Marco Dragic invited you to visit him to his lab in Dover Hill. Oh, it's been a while since we've heard of him. <laughs> Alright, so we've got lots of things to do and so little time. <laughs> well, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and then I hope to see you again uh, next time uh, for upcoming Friday. See ya!